17 members of the Hells Angels indicted in connection to a racially motivated attack that happened in Ocean Beach. Here now to talk more about that investigation, San Diego County District Attorney Summer Stephan. Summer, good morning. Always good to see you. Good morning. What happened in, in Ocean in Beach? You know, on June 6, there was a brutal attack and a stabbing of three young African-American men, 19, 20, and 21, that were just walking in Ocean Beach. This, this gang, uh, you know, the Hells Angels that have been around for a long time, known for dealing in drugs and guns, they decided that these black men can't be there. They started racial epithets and then they stabbed and beat them. The stabbing of one of them was so horrific that the doctor could see all the way down to his lungs. Um, it, it's unacceptable, so we put all of the resources. This is not San Diego. It will not be tolerated. What makes this case unusual is you have a gang prosecution, an organized longtime gang, the, one of the biggest outlaw motorcycle gangs, in addition to a hate crimes prosecution, combined all in one. Were, were those um, kids or the young teens just walking? Was there anything that happened between them? The only thing that we can even ascertain, we don't know if it's part of the motive, is that one of them may have talked to the, a, a woman who on, on, that happened to be the girlfriend of one of the members. That's the best we can guess, but we don't know that for a fact. We just know they were out there walking, and at the time of the beating, they were not with this young lady. A lot of crime, a lot of things happening, um, and there were a lot of resources put into getting this particular group of people who committed this crime. How do you decide which particular action requires that kind of reaction from, from investigators in making sure we get these people? Because it was so heinous, because it was racially motivated perhaps, or how do you make that call? And how, much, how many resources were used to track these guys down? This was an incredible resource base. Our whole gang division worked together, Miriam Hemming and some amazing investigators, in addition to San Diego Police, ATF, every other agency, because a clear message has to be sent out. You know, there were many people on the street, but they were afraid, understandably. Sure. No one intervened. When you have gang violence and you have hate crimes, they multiply. They send a message and they make the whole community, including in this case African Americans, unsafe to feel like they can't walk down the street. It was well worth the effort to take out 17 Hells Angels members, recover 42 guns, uh, illegal weapons with silencers and all of the, the other things that go along with Hells Angels. This was a very dangerous operation to conduct 17 search warrants all at the same time, but it was definitely worth it. And the message is being sent. There's a ripple effect going on. And the ripple effect is San Diego is not the place to commit hate crimes, to commit gang violence. We won't tolerate it. The charges that they're facing? Uh, the highest charge is a premeditated attempt murder for the stabber who turned the victim over and stabbed him in his lungs. Uh, this, uh, this is the highest. It carries 39 years to life because of uh, another strike that this defendant has. The, the prosecution um, against the Hells Angel, it's pretty significant. Uh, and kind of give us perspective as to why that is. This, this is a long time outlaw motorcycle gang. It is uh, very brutal. No one speaks against them. We, we have a current case where one of their own members was suspected of st stepping on a line and he was also beaten to a pulp. So this is a very brutal gang. And this is a good point to make about the importance of technology. You know, we had surveillance uh, evidence that was captured with warrants. We had, because witnesses are not gonna feel comfortable talking. And when you're walking and you're being pummeled, you're not gonna be able to identify who is beating you to a pulp. So having that technology tool was critical in capturing sure. all of the photographic evidence, putting it together, the video evidence, piece by piece. 
Um, I, I can tell you, I, I've heard from many members of the community where, you know, these gangs think they own our streets, and they don't own our streets. We own our streets, and this sends a clear message. Just out of curiosity, were seven, are these local members of the Hells Angels, yes. or were they traveling around? Or they, they're from here? Yes. Ocean they, Beach specific, which is different parts of San Diego? No, uh, different parts of San Diego. Yeah. These ones were served all the way from Fallbrook, El Cajon, everywhere. They come from different parts of San Diego. They were hanging out in Ocean Beach, yeah. and there's a very limited number that are Hells Angels. It takes a lot to belong there. Uh, but there are supportive puppet clubs that basically do some of the dirty work. So we had some members of Hell's Angels and some yeah. wannabe members of Hell's Angels all working together, 17 of them, thanks to the work of the yeah. grand jury for the indictment. Will there be more indictments, you think? Or? I, I think we got, we followed the trail and, and we got every mm. single bad actor in this case. That's also unusual and they were all arrested on one day. I want to thank all of law enforcement for coming together for a unified cause because it's sending a positive ripple effect. All right. Summer Stefan, our district attorney, thanks for the time this morning. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank right. you so much.